Hello everybody, I am Red from the Sentinel Robots crew, and welcome back to Space Engineers. So, uh, they put out a new update yesterday, and as it was a busy day for me yesterday, I am getting to it now. Um, but yesterday wasn't too big of an update change, however it was a significant update for the game itself, especially the new feature they put in last week, which was Autopilot. So, Autopilot is a, everyone knows what it is at this point, or at least you should, is that it's the remote control block right here uh, that they added a new feature into. So if I go into the Trident here, and I look up the remote control block, you can see, as you know, it had the, rem the Autopilot settings. Now it has a new setting, which is Precision Mode. Precision Mode basically puts it on a, um, a standard setting so that it's more precise in precision mode in hitting its target location so it'll actually slow down when it gets to the spot rather than just going full force and passing it by and then keep going uh so it kind of gives you an interesting way to safely use probes and have them uh dock up with things and like that uh with stations and whatnot it's i'm still having a little trouble getting a waypoint there properly that will actually hook this up uh, it's just because of the placement in which I put the remote block. Uh, that is one thing when you're actually setting up things like that, like uh, uh, waypoints and whatnot, it'll actually center it based on the remote control block rather than anything else, which makes sense because that is what's autopiloting the ship through everything. Um, but in the case of this, I will show you guys what is going on. So if we go to the Trident... Um, We'll go ahead. As you can see, I have it set up right here, and you can see it has four directions as well. So it has the normal flight modes. I have precision mode on here right now, so it'll actually head towards the direction it needs to. Um, you have different directions. So there's forward, backwards, left, right, up, and down. So forward and back are obvious. It's going to go uh, forward or back. It can go left or right, up or down. And it really just depends on where the waypoint is and what you're trying to get it to do. Uh, so... Each one is going to be is going to have a different functionality, and it's always going to try to face the direction in which you set it up. So since I have this one set to forward, I'm going to send it off to these points right here. So you can see there's one, two, one and two, one and two. Um, if I turn the HUD on, you can see that they're not that far from each other, but they're just kind of uh, a points to help you see how it works. Uh, oh, I'm controlling it right now instead. I hate when I do that. All right, let's go back. Do to do. And as you can see, I'll turn on autopilot, and now it's going to rotate itself and orient itself forward. <clears throat> so it's going to head off to that one, as it does with the autopilot. But now you can see it's trying to slowly navigate its way over to waypoint one, which it now has connected with over remote control block one. So now it's going to go between the two, which is waypoint one and waypoint two. It's going to continue, and it'll adjust itself accordingly as well, which is really nice. And as you can see, it's slowly making its way over, so it precisely hits the target in which it needs, which is really cool, because now we can use it for uh, docking situations. You can actually have mining probes that go back and forth, and when they hit a certain point, you can actually have them reset like this and come back here. So if I, you know, let's say I make a point right here... And we will add it to this one right here. And now it's on its list. So he's going to come back and he's going to hit waypoint 3 now. So he's going to come head this way. But now you can set it up so things like that will happen. He will try to find, it will try to find its way from point to point in the most precise way possible while also being careful well, you would hope so, but it's all about, again, it's all about orientation of the actual um, remote block. As you saw, it totally just, like, face first into everything. Pretty pretty entertaining, however. Uh, still kind of dangerous. As you kind of figure it out, it's, you know, it's still in the early early access. It's still trying to figure itself out. This is brand new to the system. It's going to fi it, It'll figure it out. It's also going to depend on us putting down the proper placement. Uh, but... To be honest, that is about it they have set up for this whole thing. Uh, thank you all for joining me on this episode. That is that is one of the biggest features they've added so far. Uh, in my personal opinion, it's actually really cool. It's actually going to be very helpful for setting up proper drone uh, mining systems and anything like that. Because then you can have fully automated drones that will come in, 
have timer blocks set up, jump on. I actually have timer blocks set up on this bad boy. So, I mean, just a simple timer block like I have here. Right here, it's just like the connector locks. It collects everything so that it can uh, uh, upload weapons and stuff like that. Next time, roll goes on. It has a sensor that does everything so that it can actually activate itself. Um, if you actually go into sensors or something like that, let's say I'm setting up the action and I want to put this here, we have a lot of stuff we can do. Um, one of the big things we have is turning autopilot on and off or resetting the waypoints. So this this ship right here, if I reset the waypoint, will go back to where it needs to. So as you can see, if you have it set up to reset, it'll it'll try to go back to where it needs to go. And you can make it you can make these so much more complicated and put a bunch of things in the way, such as like these ships and whatnot. And see he's trying to actually get back to where he was. I think he's actually denoting this as his new home, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, thank you all for joining me in this one. I am Red from the Cinema Robots Crew. Always remember who you are and what you are. Don't go cause any trouble out there in those galaxies. And always remember, the GPS system apparently in this game operates by your feet. Yes, by your feet. As you can see, it's where I'm standing. It's really strange. Bye, guys. I stabbed all the stuff that would what happened first because now there's going to be sequels and it's kind of nice that uh, even though they retcon a lot of stuff, they're really reintroducing characters that everyone loves, like Boba Fett, and he picks some serious things, at least a and another thing are names. So if you're a fan of Boba Fett, you really have to talk about like I. Now, in this Han Solo. So I'm going to be reviewing positives. I love seeing Star Wars issue Star Wars. There's positive. Another positive is this comic. Let's go over the positive. Has been introducing a lot more of Boba Fett. And now that we pretty much not movie universe destroyed the mythos of in the entire like established.